How's it? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to do some retro graphics and some splotchy, trendy kind of stuff that was pretty popular a few years ago. Um, so it's on my uh, weekend, so I'm just in my casual clothes today, but trying to help you guys out with making a graphic something like this. Uh, so first of all, we need a graphic. You know, you, you're, what we're going to do is live trace a graphic, and we want to show action. Okay, you notice this uh, collage? There's a lot of action going on. So you need to capture a picture where it shows action. So maybe if you're in Taekwondo, you can do a Taekwondo like pose with your kicks. Uh, maybe you can just jump in the air and ca capture yourself in midair. Uh, sharks. So what I'm going to do. What I did was I just took my camera, I just took a, a shot, so on my Canon camera, I can go in here to my shots. Now here are a couple of shots that I took. Now this first one is not a good shot because notice my elbow and my foot is not appearing, so I wouldn't want to use that one. Uh, this one, I'm too thin. I'm not, you don't see any horizontal, just vertical stuff, so it's no good. But then my last one, I was like, hey, that'll work. I show action, kind of crazy looking, motion, um, activity. So I'm, I was going to use that. So what you're going to do is take your photo. And after you find a photo that fits that criteria, okay, I'm going to copy that to my desktop. And I'm going to call that action. And next I'm going to go hit Command New in Illustrator. And in Illustrator, I'm going to select A4 size. And it's going to be horizontal. And I'm going to call this Action, Mr. Heil. Now I'm going to go to File and Place. And I'm going to place that uh, photo that I just took. And that was called Action. Now if you want to change it up in Photoshop and make it look better or crop, uh, that's fine. Notice that it's, I'm on a clear color background. Make sure it's like a solid color background. You, you don't need any interference here at all. Okay. So notice I have my picture. It's kind of outside the area, the work, my work area space. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. So it's going to be something like that. And um, depending on your photo, like if you're a cheerleader, you want to do the splits. That would probably be horizontal. But notice mine is more vertical. So actually, I'm going to go in here and go to File, Document Setup, and change my orientation to vertical. Okay. And then I'm going to hold on the shift key and put a little bit of spacing on that around the margin. Now what I'm going to do is something probably my favorite tool in Illustrator, Live Trace. On the top, or if you go to Object, Live Trace, and Tracing Options. Okay, And then I'm going to change this down to 100 and I'm going to hit Preview. Now you can change that threshold to what you want. It's basically how much detail is going to be shown when it live traces uh, your photo. So actually, it's a little bit dark. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. See how that looks. And it's probably too much. So I'm going to go ahead and go 88. And I'm just going to go with it. So like I showed you, like try to, if, depending on the lighting, uh, you're going to have to change your threshold. Um, and make sure that you don't wear uh, light colors. Wear dark colors. And make sure that there's enough light. Uh, natural sunlight is definitely the best for this. So, OK, so I have my live trace. Now, first of all, I'm going to hit expand on my live trace. And it basically expands all my points so I can see that. I'm going to select on a white area. Uh, hit A on the keyboard and select the white area. I'm going to hit Select, Same, and then Fill Color. Okay, so basically it selects all that white area. I'm going to hit, um, let's see. There we go. So after you do that, uh, now if you want to delete different parts of your um, photo, 
Uh, you can do that, but be careful that you don't uh, delete part of your um, picture that you need. So notice I can easily take off that this these points. I'm just selecting with the A key and hitting delete. And I can do that here as well. So you can go in and modify what you need. So I'm going to keep it just like that. And make sure there's no square around it. See this, this right here? I'm going to hit and delete that. OK. And if there's big white areas, select that and hit delete as well. And those white areas, delete the white areas. So click on white areas to hit delete. And that's what I was showing you. Select same. And then if you go fill color, you can hit delete after you hit fill color. And it'll delete all those white spaces so it's transparent. So now if we have a different color uh, behind it, you'll notice that it can see through it. So make sure that it's like this. It's see-through color. Okay. Okay. So now we have our photo ready to add some crazy shapes and color. Uh, what I'm first going to do is um, I'm going to add these lines. You see the little lines, those dots? Select the ellipse tool, and we ba can basically make uh, different colors. So I'm going to choose a gray. Okay, and no stroke. So, and we can basically choose different colors. And shapes. So I'm going to choose a few different shapes and sizes. And we can group those together and we can duplicate that as well. And then I can rotate it so that it looks a little bit different. And then I can bring them close together. Okay. And then with my brush tool, I'm going to click on new brush. And this is going to be called a new scatter brush. And I'm going to be calling this dots. And now we can change the spacing so it's more random. We can change the rotation and definitely the scattered. So we can hit OK. So now when we hit our brush, and we can basically brush our document with these dots. Okay, so now we have a bunch of dots so we're good if you want to change the shades of them you can change them like the different shades of gray and um, like light gray and dark gray and different colors of gray so I'm gonna do that and then command a and I'm gonna group them command G and I'm gonna send them to the back command left you'll notice it's all behind me now <laughs> 